22nd at around 2.30 p.m. I was grooming my dogs. Grooming your dogs? Why? I love their fur. So I guess you wouldn't recognize this, would you? Oh. Can't prove anything. Why have you brought me in? So, Scar, where were you November 22nd at around 2.30 p.m.? I was out there chilling with the hyenas. Oh, yeah? Mickey? Do you recognize that? I don't know what you're talking about. This looks like a pretty good apple, so... No, don't touch the evidence! Second at 2.30 p.m. I was in Neverland, chasing Peter Pan, of course. Really? Do you have anything against Lotso Hugging Bear? Lotso, Lotso. I know a Lotso. We actually went out for a couple grog two weeks ago. Really? Yes. Okay. Hey, Doc. Hey, Paul Thomas. Do you have any information for me? I do. Actually, taking the sample that you had given me, I analyzed it, I put it in my spectroscopy machine, and... Out came the IR, the infrared spectrum. Okay, now using this combined with the molecular formula, we could calculate the degrees of unsaturation, okay, which is going to help us draw the structure of our molecule. Okay. okay? So here we have our C's, which is A, H. I'll just rewrite that one the formula. Taking A carbons, okay, we're going to multiply that by 2, and then we're going to add 2, which is going to give us 18. Now we have 17 hydrogens, right, and 1 nitrogen. We're going to subtract those to give us 16. Now taking our 18 here and dividing it, <coughs> I'm sorry, and subtracting by 16 divided by 2 is going to give us 1 degree of unsaturation. Now okay. what does that mean? Well that means, that now coming over here to the IR, you see this little dashed line here at 3000? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then this line that dips down here? Yes. Yeah. Okay, this represents a C single bond C with at least one hydrogen attached. Okay. okay. Now, the thing about one degree of saturation, it could either be a ring or a double bond. Okay, so okay. now, if this line was to the top left, it would be a C to C double bond with a hydrogen. Okay, but since it's not, it's down here, we could automatically assume that we are going to have a ring here okay. for the one degree of saturation. Now, I already did the favor and drew our molecular structure over here. So what's over here? All right, so here we have our NMR, or Nuclear Magnetic Resonance, okay? This is going to help to further identify our structure, okay? So here we have a 3. This is represented by this carbon here with three hydrogens directly attached to it. Okay. Okay, so now from there we look at the, at the carbon directly attached, which has two hydrogens. Using our N plus 1 rule, we'll have 3 giving us a triplet down here underneath that 3. Okay, I see. Okay. So now, moving on to the second carbon, okay, we have two hydrogens attached to that. Now we're going to move over to the carbon with the most hydrogens, which is going to give us three here. But with our rule, N plus one, it's going to give us four, represented here by our quartet of the bigger lines. So what do those little lines mean? Those little lines are represented here by this carbon here with the two hydrogens directly attached to it, okay. giving us a doublet on each one of those individual lines. Okay. Okay. Moving on to the 4, this is where it gets a little complicated, okay? All right. So now, this 4, okay, represented here by this carbon with two hydrogens. Now, typically we would have the 2 up here. I just rewrote it up here to make it, you know, a little easier to understand, okay? So we have our 2 here represented by this carbon, okay? Now, moving over to this carbon directly attached to it, it has 2, okay? Now, with our N plus 1 rule, will give us 3. So that's represented here by our triplet. Okay. Now, moving on to the carbon here with only one hydrogen directly attached to it, okay, is going to give us a singlet line on each individual Okay, those little lines. Those little lines, okay. exactly. Okay. Now, since this carbon up here is in the same situation this carbon's in, we're going to do the same exact thing. Taking this carbon, okay, and the carbon directly attached to it, which has two hydrogens attached to it, mm -hmm. and plus one will give us three, represented by our triplet here, okay. and this center carbon here with the one hydrogen is represented by the singlet, the little lines on each individual. Okay. Now, since on the NMR, what they're going to do, they're going to come up in the same area, so it's going to be hard to tell, so what we do is we just add the twos 
and which would give us the four. four. Exactly. Okay. So okay. moving on to this central uh, carbon here with one hydrogen directly attached to it, represented by the one here, mm -hmm. taking the carbons on each side of it, having one, two, three, four, using our n plus one rule, we have a quintet here represented by the five lines. Okay. Okay. Now, moving on to this carbon here, and this is almost the same situation as before, okay, having this carbon with each carbon attached to it with two hydrogens here representing four. Okay. Okay. Now what we're going to do there, we're going to use our n plus one rule giving us five. Okay. So for that, down here we have another quintet. Okay. Okay. Now moving on to this carbon, it's in the same situation that carbon's in. So it's going to get a quintet also. Okay. Okay. So now because in the NMR, mm -hmm. it's going to show up in the same spot, we're going to erase that and it's going to become a, a four. four. Okay. okay. Now fine. Last and least. Finally. Last and least. Our last carbon here, with two hydrogens directly attached to it, very simple, we're going to use our n plus one rule to give us three, and we're going to end up with a triplet. So what mm -hmm. molecule is this? All in all, this structure is hemlock. And this is what was used to kill Lao Tzu. Thank you so much, Doctor. You're very welcome. Why am I in here? Quilla, we know it was you. We traced back the hemlock that was on that poison apple back to your garden. You're right! It was me! I wanted to be the most evil! I wanted the fur! No! Well, you're going away for a long time. No! 